So I like to sit in the car when it's raining. <laughs> it's so soothing and quiet. When I say it's the best car nap, it's a good car nap. On another funnier note, so I was in the uh, Lowe's grocery store getting me um, some lunch from the hot bar. And so this lady kept staring at me. I, I'm used to people staring at me because they're trying to figure out what am I? Am I a child? Am I an adult? Especially kids. <laughs> I'm used to people staring at me. But this was a different stare. And I was just like, I said, hey, how are you? She said, I've seen you before. She said, were you on that TV show, Fatal Attraction? <laughs> yes, ma'am, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Ma'am, I'm just trying to get my chicken pie pie. That's all I want, my chicken pie pie. Just sitting in the car. I got a new song for the week. You heard this song, um, I don't know who it's by, but it's At the mention of your name, every knee will bow, and every tongue confess that you are, you are known. Dum -dum. Jesus, you are Y'all heard that song? Y'all, so <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with pouring and I don't feel like driving. I'm only eight minutes from my house, but I don't feel like moving my car. So I'm, I'm going to talk to y'all. Y'all, so last year, it's been a year, I had like all my moles removed from my face, but more are popping up on my neck. Bro, I got two right here, and then there's one, like, right there. I ain't showing you my cleavage. And then there's one, like, on the back of my neck. I'm like, bro, I don't, I don't want to pay to get these removed. Like, why are they popping up? It's not hereditary. It's not hereditary. I don't know why I'm getting them. Y'all, my lips dry. I need my Vaseline. <laughs> Anyway, so I just want to like tell y'all something that I've noticed and it's bothering me. Um, so I'm now working on oncology and so, you know, I'm dealing with chemo medications and stuff like that. And I don't know if it's just me, but I'm going to just, you know, so some of these chemo medications, it'd be like 80 something year old patients, 70, 80 something year old patients that be needing to start chemo. And so I've been working on like, I'm going to say this is probably the fifth one I've worked on. They start their chemo, get them authorization and all that stuff, and they die within like a week. And I really feel like the chemo medication is like pushing them to die sooner. Like, I just feel like they don't even need to, you know what I mean? And I feel like the medicine is too strong for them to take. And I feel like at this point, why even bother but I get it. You want to live a life. And there, miracles do take place. I, I totally understand. I get it. You want to, you know, fight it and beat it. I get it. But I feel like some of these patients, like, I feel like it's increasing them to die sooner. Because it, maybe the medicine is too strong. And it ain't. this ain't even radiation. This is just chemo meds. And I'm like, this man just started. But... It's sad, but, you know, I'll just be thinking about that. Hmm. So, it just stopped raining, so I guess I can leave, move my car. Thanks for uh, chilling with me for those few minutes. Hope you enjoyed your time with me. Um, please come again. And, yeah. I'm a whole vibe, y'all. Just get into it. Okay? Did I crank my car? I can't, with this new car, I can't tell if my car is on or not.